to look at exactly what Florida is dealing with right now. This video here, these pictures from Sanibel Island, Florida, the road that connects the island to the Florida mainland. You can see that bridge crumbled into the ocean, literally cutting people who live there off from the rest of the state. It washed away roads, it washed away structures that were not uh, new and, and could withstand that. Uh, there have been a number of people that have been uh, identified and, and brought off the island safely, and those efforts are ongoing. The Coast Guard and other law enforcement officials are now working on those rescues. Meantime, Hurricane Ian also caused devastating damage in Fort Myers, Florida. You see it in the video here. Some buildings are now rubble. Roads are left empty with sand likely brought in from all of the storm surge. Fort Myers is just a few miles from where Hurricane Ian made landfall. Florida's governor calls this a 500 year flooding event. The hurricane also bringing flooding and storm surge to the Florida coast. This is from Naples here where many homes were flooded out. Cars submerged as the streets turned into rivers. Firefighters had to rescue people from all of this flood water. This video here shows a Naples firefighter breaking a window to get into a car, pulling a woman to safety. There have been hundreds of rescues just like this so far across the state. Everyone's being asked not to drive in those floodwaters. Now, we know that many of you are asking, how do I help people in Florida? And we have one way you can do that. We partnered with our sister station, WFLA in Tampa, and we're gathering donations for Red Cross relief efforts in Ian's aftermath. You can scan this QR code with your phone to be routed directly to the Red Cross donation page. You can also find this on Fox59.com with other ways you can assist as well.